in the 20 years uh, since we've been doing this, there have been a few that uh, have given that a go. None of them are still running. And because there's complexity here that, that you only worked out by actually banging your head and, and kind of doing things and figuring out that, oh my goodness, that created, I didn't expect that as an outcome. Now, one of the things, whenever I talk to someone in sales, especially someone who created something, right, founded and developed something, is I'm always curious about why somebody wouldn't want to sign up, right? Obviously, there's all the reasons why they would. Uh, that's pretty clear. If anyone's not sure on why that is, they can check out uh, your your website, right? They can go to bestpair.co. But why would somebody not do it? Which, of course, is the bane of every salesperson's existence, which is why, like, you should do this, but why aren't you? What are some of the reasons that you hear when somebody says, yeah, it sounds interesting, but no. Yeah, you, you, when you have a new innovative technology, right, you, you, you always are like fascinated by why, like in, particularly with our pricing model, I mean, we, yeah, you can go crazy. Like our pricing model, we, we participate in the success, right? We, we, we don't ask for, for much to get started, right? And why wouldn't you say, why wouldn't you say yes? And I think sometimes because it's a little innovative and a little different, you know, you do need someone with a, a, a somewhat of an innovative mindset. You know, I appreciate that. You know, when, when you're seeing everybody using stuff, then the, the herd kind of kind of follows. I, I, think, I think that's a factor. I think there's also fear around protection of that data. I, I think they assume that we're going to take on uh, the, the, who this client is and we don't. You know, we don't, for example, know who the client actually is. We just really know a reference number. So it bypasses, it bypasses some of those. But then you always get the guy who goes, oh, yep, yeah, we can do that. We will, we will, we will, we will build that, you know. And, and, and through the, I must admit, in the, in the 20 years uh, since we've been doing this, there have been a few that uh, have given that a go. None of them are still running. And because there's complexity here that, that you only worked out by actually banging your head and, and kind of doing things and figuring out that, oh my goodness, that created, I didn't expect that as an outcome. I didn't expect the unforeseen uh, sort of consequences of doing things sometimes in this in this world. So sometimes it's like, a, I really want to do this ourselves. We want that IP to be uh, internalized at times. But you know, we're investing this the whole time. You know, this doesn't change. You know, you're forever in a day looking for, how do you do it better? How do you do it better? So it's, you know, it's sometimes that's super frustrating uh, when, uh, when, when, when clients want to go that path and you know, that's okay. Uh, but geez, we can do this in weeks. It takes, it takes a long time to get this right. Yeah, I mean, you have two options as a business leader or owner, build it or buy it. And yeah. um, I see that for anyone who's done any kind of B2B type sales, you know that all like you will come across those people who think, oh, I'll just make this myself. It doesn't sound that hard. And what they don't realize is how hard it is. And are they willing to invest the time, the resources and the money to do it? Could they do it? Of course they could do it, right? Like yep. no, nothing is so magical that somebody else couldn't do it, but are they going to? And do they have the right mix? Do they have the patience? Can they play the long game, right? Versus buying it and going, all right, let's leverage what you've been learning and doing it on that, um, which is, it's always fascinating. And I always recommend, I was like, hey, if you want to build this, give it a shot. How long until I should call you back before you think you, you probably aren't doing it? So, um, yeah, and I think when you're, and whenever you're, you're setting the pace, the, the first one to do something or the, a new offering no one's ever heard of, that education timeline, getting people to realize it, finding the people yeah. who are the, the, the ones to more likely take on innovation and risk, right? The ones who want to stand in line for the latest cell phone or technology, even before it's been proven because they just want to have it. Uh, sometimes to say they have it, that's who you're looking for in the beginning. I'm also like, like one of the things that we, on our site, you'll see uh, claims of quite high conversion rate numbers that, that, in other words, how much difference does it really make by getting the lead to a salesperson, you, you asked about numbers earlier, How, what is the actual difference from random to that allocation? And if you have a, some scale with a couple of interesting data points, that number can be really big, like like 50%. In other words, it could be 
50% improvement from random to getting to the right person. And at a time, you know, we, 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 we've got a, one of our case studies shows a 77% improvement. And uh, like one, of our, one of our advisors was going, you actually need to bring that number down. People won't believe you. And, and it's like, like, but it's true. Like, I feel like I'm lying if I don't put it there. But if I bring you know, right. it, 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 it makes it that much difference, given the right circumstances, right? Uh, I'm not saying in every case, but right. you get the right, the right ingredients in place. It's amazing how much better results you get if you have great conversations. I, I feel like, especially because it's, it's a process technology that people haven't heard of or aren't familiar, hasn't been proven like on a scale that they've heard of. It's almost like you want to have it on your site for a lower percentage with an asterisk and small print and say, actually, the number is 77%. But if we put that on there, people think it's too good to be true. So we put 50. Yeah. Um, but just know it's much higher. Um, and, yeah. and that you should be able to get good results. It's like you almost want to do the opposite, which is not standard results, but like <laughs> undersell it and then see if people read the small print and call it like it is. Yeah, yeah, no, but I get that. Maybe that's exactly what we should be doing. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah.